Picture discs, they divide opinion among the vinyl community, but are they really worse than regular records? Do they sound worse than regular black vinyl? Are they just a complete and utter waste of money? In today's video, we're going to talk about this. And I'm also going to reveal when I like to buy picture discs and when I don't like to buy picture discs. So let's get straight into it. So as record collectors, I think we can all agree that a huge part of vinyl's appeal is the artwork, that extended canvas that you just don't get with other formats. It's an extended way of the artist expressing themselves beyond the music itself in an artistic way, of course. Now, with picture discs, of course, this whole canvas extends to the disc itself, which is a really novel idea, but they divide opinions among record collectors. Some people love them, some people hate them, and they have a reputation for having quite poor sound quality. Now, it's fairly unanimous across the vinyl community that picture discs don't sound as good as regular black vinyl. And while this might be a fairly true statement, it can often be a fairly unfair statement to say that they universally just sound bad. There are so many aspects to the production process, including a big one being the mastering, more on this later, that affect the overall sound quality. But I think maybe a fairer assessment of picture discs in general would be, or a more balanced view if you like, would be is that they're not really capable of sounding as good as regular black vinyl. But why don't picture discs sound as good typically as regular black vinyl? Well, it's all in the manufacturing process. So rather than pressing directly to pure vinyl, picture discs are made from a sandwich of materials to achieve a full color printed effect. Vinyl still makes up the disc's core, but the disc is pressed with the addition of a printed picture on either side, which is sealed on either side by a thin polythene layer on top. The poly foil acts as a translucent seal, of course, to seal that picture, and the music is pressed into this top layer. The result is a vinyl record that typically suffers from increased surface noise and overall lower quality sound. So does this mean that you should just avoid picture discs entirely? Well, no, not necessarily. If you enjoy that physical element of the product, the extension of the canvas, and you want to maybe even display it on a wall, more on that later, then absolutely fantastic. Go ahead and enjoy them. But also, they don't always just universally sound absolutely terrible. And a lot of people will tell you that the quality of picture discs has actually improved quite significantly in recent years. One such example that I always use as a really good example is the picture disc version of Liam Gallagher's As You Were versus the regular black vinyl version of that record. Now, from my understanding, those versions of those records were mastered and handled by completely different mastering houses and engineers. The picture disc version of that record was mastered by Barry Grint at Alchemy at Air, which is what that's become. It was Alchemy Mastering is now Alchemy at Air. But the picture disc version of that record has far greater dynamics and detail. You can really hear the guitars coming forward with much more energy on that version of the record versus the black vinyl. So that's touching on, I'm going back to what I was touching on earlier about how the mastering can make a more significant difference to the overall sound of the record than whether it is a picture disc or a piece of black vinyl per se. There are so many things that affect the quality of a record. It isn't just quite as black and white as picture disc bad, black vinyl good. You know, you could have a terribly mastered piece of black vinyl and it could never sound as good as the picture disc version. As long as it was manufactured well, of course, that was handled far more sensitively in the manufacturing process, in my view. The ideal scenario, of course, from a audiophile perspective, is that that high quality dynamic mastered version of the record is on black vinyl because typically, of course, black vinyl does sound better. Now, black vinyl versus colored vinyl, that's perhaps a topic for another day and that opens another can of worms entirely. Let's save that one for another day. 
So from my point of view, I mostly buy picture discs for the artwork side of things, as collectibles, and you know sometimes to display on the wall. Again, that kind of ties in really with the artwork side of things. I don't own a ton of picture discs. You know, I'm not a massive picture disc advocate or anything like that. I enjoy them from time to time. If I particularly like a record or I see a collectible I think is kind of cool, then yeah, I will buy picture discs. But they're no by no means my kind of number one go to. And if I'm buying a record to listen to, then I really sort of default away from picture disc versions of them if i'm only going to buy one version of that record i wouldn't make it the picture disc personally so the products i use behind me to display picture disc is made by a company called 12 inch they also make the adapters that hold the record sleeves themselves that are behind me as well but they make a really cool adapter that is specifically designed for displaying picture discs so you can easily display them without having any sort of ugly clips or anything like that they're really discreet and the adapter that goes on the top side of it kind of resembles a 45 adapter which i think is a really nice touch now the record sleeve adapters that are behind me here are now all made from sustainable bamboo the adapter product it's not quite there yet with the bamboo side of things, but they do have a bamboo version of that in the making. And I think perhaps as soon as they do release that product, I'm almost thinking of changing all of the record sleeves behind me to be picture discs just for a change using a bamboo style adapter. If you're interested in displaying picture discs yourself using a product like this, then there is a rolling discount at their website under the discount code, which I'll put in the description below that you can check out for yourself in your own time. And if you're watching this video as it's released on the run up to the holiday season, there is a really cool holiday offer that they've got on at the moment, which is a bundle that includes their eco pack with the adapters, but also a really cool groove washer 12 inch branded uh, record cleaning handle one of those fantastic walnut just grab it just to show you um, of course you see it in the background in all my videos the beautiful solid walnut handles but this version of it has the 12 inch branding across it that's a bundle with their bamboo based eco pack so if you're interested in checking that out at the holiday discount price then you can check that out for yourself as well in the description below so thank you ever so much for watching that basically concludes today's video what are your thoughts and feelings and opinions on picture discs i'd love to know if you're a buyer of picture discs if you hate picture discs do you love picture discs so let's hear from you down in the comments below always love to hear from you out there in the vinyl community so thank you ever so much for watching once again really appreciate all the support and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. If you're new here, then please do consider subscribing. We'd love to have you on board. See you in that next one. Keep spinning.